A man comes to the messenger sallallahu he says, I trust Allah completely, O messenger. Now, should I tie my camel and trust Allah? Or should I let my camel loose and trust Allah? The Prophet knows that whatever is going to happen to that camel is still going to happen anyway, because it's written, right? He says, I'qilha, thumma tawakkal ala Allah. Tie it, then say, I lay my trust in Allah. Simple hadith. Although the Prophet knew for a fact that nothing can ever happen to this camel except what Allah has written for it. He knew that. It did not negate the fact that you got to take that precaution. Subhanallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to understand things. Now, let me continue a little bit further. You tried whatever you could, you did whatever you could, and you laid your trust in Allah, you made your dua, you did your Quran, you did your tilawa, you, uh, you cried at the time of the hajjud, uh, you, you did whatever you could, you became a good person, you repented to Allah, because my brothers and sisters, repentance brings about a lot of barakah and blessings. If the Quran has spoken about one act of worship that brings about almost anything and everything from the mercy of Allah, it is indeed definitely got to do with Istighfar, seeking the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But now that you've done everything there, if my brothers and sisters, calamity strikes, understand Allah has said, we will test you with so many things and calamity will strike and a lot of things will happen to you that you did not want to happen to you because life is a test. When I speak to little children and even some of the youth and adults about life being a test they say how can you prove to me that allah created us to test us well i always say there's a simple response to that nothing that's happening is happening according to your liking subhanallah everything that comes is according to the liking of allah who you are is not even according to what you wanted it's what allah wanted so when an examiner is asking you questions you don't have a role to play in preparing those questions it's from him you've no say in anything from that, you know, this is a test. Because if it was not a test, Allah would have given me everything I wanted, how I wanted. He would have asked me before I was born to say, hang on, just choose. Where do you want to go? You want to go here or there? And where would you like to be? You know, subhanallah. He never did that because he knows it's a test. We're only sending you for whatever reason he wants to test us. I may never understand fully why exactly he wants to test us. But I know he wants to give us Jannah. And he wants us to go back to him. And when we meet him, we will know everything by the will of Allah. We, don't, we know for a fact, sophisticated human beings also pass away. The most intelligent from amongst us also pass away. The top doctors from amongst us have gone. Subhanallah. May Allah grant us ease. So if calamity still strikes, you need to know that was a test from Allah. You need to pass the test. Don't ever question the decree of Allah. Thank Allah. Let it be a means of drawing you closer to Allah through all your ibadah and staying away from sin and engaging in istighfar. Still become a better person. And you need to know daybreak only follows the darkest hours of the night. You've lost your job. You don't know where the next morsel is going to come from. It's okay. You're not the first person that that is happening to. And you're not going to be the last person that that is happening to. You need to adjust your life. You need to make sure you've prepared for a rainy day. And at the same time, if push comes to shove, Allah will grant you. Do your best. Allah will open your doors. I've met a lot of people who've said, we've adjusted our lifestyle. Alhamdulillah, good news to you. My brother, my sister, it is nothing to be embarrassed about when you need to sell your motor vehicle. You might need to sell your house in order to live in rented accommodation for a while. If you are too embarrassed to do that, you are the one who's going to struggle. But if it's come to that, very sadly, from a human perspective, there is sadness. But from a spiritual, religious perspective, there is excitement. If Allah wanted this from me, Alhamdulillah.